in the global media network uh, hi i'm dipika rao i'm working with nord anglia education as their director of education india operations and also head the flagship school uh, which is okridge international school gachi boli and i've been invited here to be part of one of the panels here i'm looking forward to the experience the panel has not yet begun but i look forward to it i've been listening to the various speakers who are here and i think one of the key takeaways is that almost everyone who's here recognizes that education is changing they do also understand that it is not just a change which is going to be a short lived one it's something which is like a big movement it's here to stay and everybody needs to kind of realign to the change they need to reskill themselves and they also need to recognize what are the needs of the schools and the learners and definitely provide the right kind of education for them to so i do hope that each one of us going away from here will be going back charged enthusiastic and willing to go back and try their things back in their schools to see how they are working you see uh, technology definitely is here to stay i mean it's it's been a part of our lives for some time but what is happening is that there's a certain fear and resistance that we still have to the technology the biggest thing that we have to remember is that technology is should be used as an assistant for us it's an assistive tool for us it's something that will make our life simple if we start integrating it more and more into our daily lives and into our teaching learning into our various spheres because it's not just a teaching learning tool it's a tool for assessment it's a tool for tracking it's a tool for feedback it's also a tool which helps you understand the um, the emotional needs or what needs to be developed in a student in terms of the attitudes and attributes so there is this importance of data that we see in our daily lives and data is very predictive in nature so if we can use technology effectively we can actually map our students and we can help them make the best choices for themselves so i would say technology is not really a disruptor it's come at a time where we all need to recognize its importance and we need to become more and more familiar with it uh, of course uh, it's also about capacity building and everyone is not going to be uh, somebody who will become a swimmer with it you know just take it and then lead it there will be swimmers there will be floaters and there will be sinkers so what we have to do is we have to establish a kind of a structure where the swimmers are supporting the floaters and the floaters are supporting the the sinkers and we create a, a method in which you know each one can then go on to become a swimmer so it's got to be a process where anybody whether it's a management or the head of schools or let's say a team of people they are kind of working on making sure that the right kind of technology the right kind of tools are being brought in and people are being trained on it on a continuous basis yeah thank you so much ma'am for your participation for your time you know we really enjoyed your participation here and i really look forward to hearing you here yeah thank you for giving me this opportunity thank you in the global media network taking innovation collaboration and growth to the forefront